Hi, this is Dan from NYC Math Tutoring and Test Prep. We're continuing the GMAT Advanced Quant Series. Uh, the expression root 2 plus root 2 plus root 2 plus dot 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 extends an infinite number of roots. Okay, which of the following choices most closely approximates the value of this expression? So, when I show most people the solution to this, um, they're either really impressed or they get really angry. Um, it's not a trick question. It is. Um, it just takes a little, a little stroke of insight, and um, and it, I think once you see it, you're going to say, "Oh, that, you know, it's obvious." Um, not not obvious, but um, not terribly surprising. So this is what I propose. We want to find out what this thing equals. So why don't we just, um, I'm, gonna, I'm not even going to write it that many times, I'll just write 2 plus root 2 plus root 2 plus dot dot dot, so we don't have to write it too many times. And let's set that thing equal to some variable we'll call it x. And that's what we want to know, we want to find x, we want to approximate x. So even though we already have x by itself, let's um, do a little bit of algebraic manipulation. The left side's a square root, so we can square both sides. So the left side would then just become 2 plus square root of 2 plus square root of 2 plus dot dot dot. Right, and then the right side would become x squared, because we squared both sides. Now if we subtract 2, the left side will become square root of 2 plus square root of 2 plus dot 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 equals x squared minus 2. But now if we look at the left side, what is this? This is square root of 2 plus square root of 2 plus dot 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 that goes on infinitely. Well that's the same thing that we wanted to solve for. That's essentially equal to what we had at the very beginning. So we can make a substitution for this entire expression that it equals x. And now we have x equals x squared minus 2. And that's a quadratic equation that we can solve. We just have to get everything over onto one side. And we'll have x squared minus x minus 2 equals 0. And that's factorable, right? x minus 2 x plus 1 equals 0, which means that either x equals 2 or x equals negative 1. But if you think about it, um, x is the result of taking the square root of something, and you can only ever take the square root of positive numbers, so the result of a square root should also always be a positive number. So we can throw away the negative solution, plus 2 is a choice, and negative 1 is not a choice. So that's how you do it. Hopefully that, uh, that makes sense and is not totally uncomfortable for you. Another way to go after this is to guess what the answer is and plug it in um, for two. So suppose that at some point this thing ended, like it was there was some final term that was literally just the square root of two plus something, but you don't know what. So we'll just call it square root of two. Square root of 2 is about 1.41 or something like that. So if you plug that in here, you'll get 2 plus 1.41, which is 3.41. You take the square root of that. That's something um, a little less than 2. It's probably like 1.6 or 1.7. Then you do 2 plus that. That's a little closer to 4 now. And then take the square root of that. That's a number a little smaller than 2, but closer to 2 than the previous result and you repeat this process and what you'll find is that as you do that more and more times the answer converges it starts to approach 2 eventually you get like 1.999 so that's another way to go about this and I think if you do that you'll convince yourself that 2 is the best choice but hopefully this algebraic solution makes some sense as well